Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing another look with the Peanut Butter and Honey palette, which I'm so excited to play around with because I'm so excited about the colors in it. They're so pretty. And also, while I'm using that, I'm going to be using the Tarte Shape Tape. That's why I have foundation on, not concealer, and kind of look dead. Um, I've never used this before. I can never find it in my color or anything like that. But today, I have it. So this is in the color Fair Neutral. Alright, here we go. I don't know what brush I should use. I'm just going to use my foundation brush, which is the G36 brush. Smells really good. Blends out super effortlessly. I like that. So if you can see these little things, it's from my glasses. They have like little nose piece dudes, which I've never had before, so that's interesting. Now I'm going to, holy shit ton of cover. I need to make this in a foundation. That was so easy, y'all. That is so ridiculous. I'm so in love right now. Okay. Now I'm going to set that with the Kat Von D Lock It Powder in Petal. And I'm going to use the 915 by Japanesque, which is the concealer brush. And I'm just going to lightly put that under my eyes. I've heard like when you bake with this, it could go cakey. Now I have had a problem with using this powder to like bake and stuff and it kind of goes cakey. So now I'm just going to use a light amount and dust it and then I'm going to go ahead and dust it over the eyes as well. Just because I used some other stuff and I just want to make sure it's all nice and ready. If you ever see me look that way, my boyfriend's sitting over there. And I'm like, ah! Alright. I got that all over this. Alright, so now I'm going to use the Peanut Butter and Honey Palette. Alright, so I'm going to start out with the B80 from Morphe. I'm going to start with Peanut Butter, which is this top shade right here. And I'm going to use that as a transition color. Just in the crease. So now I'm going to use Queen B, and I'm going to put that, like, above that color, kind of. So now I'm going to take the same brush and feel in Nutty, and I'm only going to put that on the outer corner and the inner corner of both eyes. Maybe I should have used a smaller brush, but that's alright. And then I'm just going to slightly connect them. And just like that. And then I'm going to take Going Nuts on a smaller brush, so I don't mess this part up. And this is the E18 from Morphe. I haven't used this color yet. This color seems like it's going to pack a punch, so. Oh, Lord. Alright, and then as I'm applying that color, I'm going to take the B80 brush. And I'm just going to blend that in with the other colors with no extra product. Just blend in. So I like when people do like one eye and then it's like boom, the other eye's done. I forget what I do. 
so I can't do that. Like, I'm not coordinated enough to do one eye and then bam, my other eye's done. I can't do it. It just doesn't work. Wow, that's a little dust. Alright, and while we're here, might as well just go ahead and do the lower lash line. So I'm just going to take the E18 again, put some product on it, do it on the outer V, and kind of wing it up with that other shadow. And then I'm going to take the R41 brush from Morphe, and I'm going to take Peanut Butter. And put it. Alright, so I'm gonna leave the bottom lash line alone for right now. And take a M431 brush. And I'm gonna take Queen B and put it right in the center. And then I'm also gonna take Creamed Honey. And put it on top of that. I'm just kind of blend those edges lightly. And then I'm going to take Queen B again as a brow bone highlight. And then for the inner corner, take Creamed Honey again. Alright. And then I'm going to go off camera, do eyebrows, mascara and contour the face and make it all pretty and then I will come back and talk to you guys. Okay guys, so I'm back with mascara and lashes and these are 113 from Ardell Lashes. Um, I used the Sweet Peach Glow Palette for my highlight blush and bronzer and I don't remember what contour I used. Um, Mascara, I used the Lash Craft Length and Volume from Sephora. And now for lips, I'm going to use the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in... Vesa? I don't know. But I'm going to go ahead and use this. I just wanted to come on camera and do it. Okay guys, so this is the finished makeup look. I hope you liked it. I hope you like that you can do multiple things with this new palette. The Too Faced Peanut Butter Honey Palette. So excited. I really like all the shades, so now I've tested them all and I really like all of them. The shape tape though, y'all. This is where it's at. You don't need a lot of it though. But this is really where it's at. But you really have to set it with like a powder or something like that. Because I set one eye like real good and the other eye not so great apparently. And it started creasing and I just buffed it out a little bit, put some more powder on. Good to go. Alright guys, so this is the finished look. Love it. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell button. Make sure you don't miss any new videos or anything like that. And don't forget to hit the like so I know that you like these new videos. And yeah, don't forget to leave a comment on down below if you have tried this, if you love it, if you hate it, if you tried this and you love it or you hate it, if you need to set it, if not, um, just let me know in the comments. Bye guys!